Hi, this is Michael Branson Smith, and today's Daily Create uh, asks you to find uh, a, let's see, a classic title from your bookshelf and tell us why you treasure it. Um, I pulled off my bookshelf uh, Studs, Turkle, Stud, Studs Turkle's uh, Working, which is a set of oral histories of people in the United States that spans basically the 70s, the early 70s. The book was published in 1974. And I got lucky. Uh, I happened to be wearing one of my favorite shirts, uh, the, my FDR uh, Make It Work shirt, because uh, Studs Terkel worked for the WPA Writers Program, uh, doing radio and a number of other things. And but working has always been something very interesting to me because um, I have had a lot of jobs. So uh, in the his in, in the tradition of oral history and Studs Terkel and work, I'm going to describe as quickly as I can every single job I've had, which is about, I think there's about 25 I've had since I was 10. So the boy years, when, uh, when I was 10 um, through age 18, all the way through high school actually was a paper boy. Uh, first doing the rare reminder, which was basically a copy, a, a circular of ads, and then the Hartford Current all the way through high school. Also in high school, uh, in the summer times, I worked as a lifeguard um, for the town and for a club. Um, and then one one winter, I actually worked at a, a record store in the Hartford Center, Civic Center as a, a record store clerk at Al Franklin's movie, Music World, which is pretty cool. It's pretty old school. Uh, I was introduced to, to, to kind of like 12-inch records for the first time. I bought I bought I had a copy of White Lines. I've since lost it, which sucks. Um, on to the college years. While I was in college, I was lucky. I scored a job as a teaching assistant with the fine arts department. Got to do a little bit of um, helping faculty or, uh, shoot slides of work, you know, whatever, clean up, you know, general stuff in there, and that was kind of cool. But in the summer times, uh, I got really into rowing, and I used to row in New London and, and get random jobs, including I was a stock boy at a Bob Surplus. I was a bus boy at a Russell's Ribs. I actually was a research assistant. Uh, this was the only good one. Uh, well, not the only good one. The only one that would help me for college. A research assistant in a chemistry lab at Connecticut College, which is right in New London. Uh, I worked, this is my favorite one actually, I worked as a lobster cook uh, at a lobster hut called Abbott's Lobster in the Rough. That was pretty cool. Um, and so I did that all through college in the summer times. And then when I, I first, I have a pretty odd uh, academic career. I, I, I first went on to graduate school for chemistry and you basically work while you're there. So I, I was a TA in the organic chemistry lab at the University of Chicago, but I dropped out. I didn't, I didn't stay a chemist, sadly. Um, so I went to art school, uh, and, but I actually taught chemistry um, out of Harvard's exten extension school. All the people that want to be doctors, they have to go back and, and they didn't take pre-med courses. They took them uh, out of Harvard, and I, I ran an organic chemistry lab there, or, or taught it, and that was kind of cool. But the mo the money I really most work I did is I, I was a mover. Uh, while I was in art school, I basically moved furniture. I got to do the these other jobs a little bit, and then um, I stopped everything and quit graduate school for chemistry, graduate school for art, and did nothing uh, but try to row for a while, and I was couldn't really work that much and then that crashed and I completely crashed and moved home and for a month and that's all I lasted I worked as a waiter at the Pizzeria Uno. Ugh. Hi I'll be your server today. Um, I, I, I couldn't hack it so I moved back to Boston and went back to moving uh, furniture while I restarted finally um, a year later so I moved furniture for that's it for a year then went to uh, Went on to back to art school. I made a decision I wanted to finish that. So I finished, uh, I, I went back and finished. And I had one of my coolest jobs is I worked uh, at, I worked at the, school, at the art school finally. And I taught a course on uh, a mini comic publishing. That was really cool. Um, I worked in their sound lab, which was fun as a, a college assistant. And then I worked in the computer lab, and that was really cool too. Um, but my first like job outside of college that was related to doing uh, media was actually for a school called Massasoit and it was for kids that had been kind of kicked out of Boston public schools. It was a crazy, crazy school and um, 
you know, kids age 10 to 8 to 18 that, that were really struggling. And I was lucky I got to do uh, uh, video stuff with them. And one of my favorite things I've ever, 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 ever made, actually, was with these two uh, kids, these two boys, and we made a spy versus spy video, and that was incredible. We, they, they, they were black spy versus white spy, and we went in the woods and we made props, and it was, it was really, really, really cool. And I wish I could share that, but I can't. I mean, it's too bad. Um, so then, uh, when I was done with school, uh, I went the summer before I moved to New York City. Um, my wife and I had this plan. Her her family uh, uh, is from the end of Long Island, and um, they li her mom works as a teacher out there. And we were going to spend a, a, a summer working as waiters, you know, at one of the shishi restaurants in East Hampton. And we actually got a job. I have no idea how they gave it to it at this what was a formerly famous restaurant called The Laundry, and it was insane. People were really, really, really mean, and um, the manager was psycho, too. He fired someone, I think, almost every day in the two weeks we were there. And finally, uh, Amanda um, couldn't, didn't think this was a reasonable thing to do anymore, and she quit, and I was smart enough to follow out after her. And it was really cool. I actually, the first uh, internship in media I actually subsequently found working for this little place called World Cottage. It was a post-production house uh, that was in the area. And the way that they designed, the idea was like, oh, there's all these famous people that are vacationing and they don't feel like going back to New York City. 